Shalom from the National Council of Young Israel here at our headquarters in Paramus, New Jersey. We are happy to launch our newest program under the guidance of our new board of directors called Four Minutes of Torah. Each and every week, you'll be introduced to a new Rav within the Young Israel movement who will share with you words of Torah. With that very happy introduction, let us begin. Hello, it's Rabbi Akiva Mels at the Young Israel of Memphis in Memphis, Tennessee, and I want to share a short Dvar Torah with you for Sukkot. The tour in Simon Tuf Yud Zion brings down something beautiful. He says, the tour says he heard from his brother, Shamodim Niskanu Kenegad Avos, that the three regalim that we have, each one of them corresponds to one of our Avos. Pesach Kenegad Avram. Pesach corresponds with Avram Avinu Dechsev. It says in the Torah, Lushi Vasi Ugos. When the Malachim showed up, it was Pesach, clear connection. Shavuos, Keneged Yitzchak, Shetkiah Shofar, Shalmat and Torah, Ayyub Shofar, May Ailo Shal Yitzchak. The Shofar that we all heard, that Klai Yisrael heard in Matan Torah, that came from the Ram at the Akedas Yitzchak. So that also makes sense. But what about Sukkot? So the Torah concludes by saying, Sukkot Keneged Yaakov. Why? Dechsev, it's written in Bereshis, Ulub Mekneyu Asa Sukkot that Yaakov built Sukkot, he built these huts for his animals. So there's an obvious question. I see the connection between Pesach and Avram Avinu. That's when that episode occurred. I see Shavuos, the connection to Yitzhak. But what, to Yaakov, just because we found one place in the Torah where the term Sukkot is used, that connects the Yom Tov, the Moed of Sukkot to Yaakov? How do we understand this? So a few years ago, I heard a beautiful pshat from Rabbi Yisachar friend in Baltimore. And he said as follows, Perhaps what will unlock this tour for us is if we look at the way the Orachayim explains the name Sukkos. Why was it that that name, the locale, was called Sukkos? The Orachayim asks the following question. Big deal, Yaakov built a Sukkos. So everyone called the name Sukkos. Let's say he had built a shack. He built a garage. Now the place would be called garage. Why? What was the big significance? So the Orachayim answers, Yaakov was innovative. He had done something out of his compassion that he felt to his livestock. He had done something that no one else, no other human being had done before. To prepare some type of shelter for animals? Because this was so new, it just startled people. No one had ever seen something like this before. All the locals called the name of the, the place Sukkos. So it seems as if what had happened wasn't, the Orachim is, is suggesting in world history until that point, nobody built shelter for their animals. They fend for themselves. They're not delicate like human beings. They could stand the rain. They could stand the elements. Yaakov Avinu, however, says no. Those animals... They're the source of my income. They're the source of my livelihood. I have a feeling of Akara Satov. That's how Rabbi Friend wanted to explain this Arachayim. I have a feeling of Akara Satov. Those are the animals. Those are the beings that supply me and my family with all of our sustenance. I have to do something for them. So Yaakov Avinu was able to see an opportunity that the rest of the world, throughout world history, nobody had taken note of this before, but Yaakov realized that there was an opportunity for Chesed, an opportunity to express Hakara Satov. And that's what he did. This was so innovative. The world said, oh my gosh, Yaakov saw something that the rest of us missed. That's why they named the place Sukkos. That was so creative. It was so innovative and it made so much sense. That's why Yaakov, that's why the locals decided to name the place after what Yaakov had built there. That's how Rabbi Fran wanted to suggest the uh, shot in the Orachayim. Coming back to the tour, now this might make a lot more sense is that we said, why is Sukkos linked to Yaakov? Because it says, that Yaakov made Sukkos for his animals. But what, what was that? What's the message of that? That Yaakov looked for an opportunity, whereas the rest of the world could have walked past and missed an opportunity to express Akara Satov. Yaakov had his eyes open, his ears were open, his antenna was up, and he says, I'm not going to pass up that opportunity. And that's what he did. So Sukkos is a chance for all of us to emulate Yaakov. Sukkot is an opportunity for us to say, who may I may who may I not have noticed? Who has been doing tovos? Who has been uh, doing all sorts of good for me all uh, throughout that I just have not stopped to say thank you to 
Is it my mailman? Is it the, the whoever it may be? Is it someone at shul? Is it my neighbor? Is it my spouse? Is it a child? Whoever it may be. Is it someone that I have not yet said thank you to that I really should? Sukkot is the time that we should be cognizant that there are people in our lives that we need to express our akara satov to. And if we look to Yaakov, uh, as, a, as the way the Orachim explained this, this can be a real inspiration to us. And most of all, talk Kodesh Baruch Sukkot is a time where we can sit in our sukkah with our family, God willing, and we can express to HaKadosh Baruch Hu that yes, this has been such a challenging time, but within all of this challenging year and a half that we've all faced, we can all find blessings, we can all find brachos, some aspect that we can find within the midst of all these incredible challenges where HaKadosh Baruch Hu has gone out of his way to show us that he loves us, that he cares about us, and he has embraced us. If we could find a way to express our HaKar to all those people and to HaKadosh Baruch Kaddish Baruch Hu, this Sukkos, we will be emulating Yaakov, and it will make sense that Sukkos is connected with Yaakov. Have a good Yom Tov, everyone.